If I'm exposing all my building secrets, what do I get in return? Well, if you win, you get a thousand dollars. Today we show you build hacks so epic you need to show off to your friends. You in the comments decide who wins. Now, Ethan claims he's going to share all of his building secrets, but that won't be the only secrets of his we'll be exposing with this lie detector. We're going to use a base of smooth quartz. This is going to be the perfect build to get the truth out of any of your friends. <laughs> Sit back and watch the show, ladies and gents, where I destroy Jordan in this build battle. You know what? I'm such a nice guy. I even prepared the popcorn. That's right. We're making ourselves some delicious popcorn with the whole popcorn stand. Now, for the truth side here, we're going to do an L shape with green concrete. Do the same thing on the other side, but with red concrete. Put redstone lamps in the corners there. We're going to have a sign that says a lie detector. We're going to put the button down there. And then on this side, of course, we have the truth. And on this side, we have the lie. Now we chuck this here. We need to do some piston extension up the top. Now bang, one down, bang, two down. And there we go. We're going to have a redstone torch below our redstone lamps. Put down a block like that. Then we're going to have a dropper facing forward. You want to crouch while crouching. Click the hopper onto your dropper so they're facing into each other. Then we need to have a redstone repeater on top of that dropper. And you want to crouch. And while crouching, place some redstone dust on your hopper. We need that classic cinema look with the, uh, the stripy banners just like that just to add to it. So we'll add this one here right there. And then it's very simple. You just need an iron frame or a glow iron frame, whichever one you want. I like that. I think it's sort of like the butter type stuff. Then we're going to need to have a redstone comparator going this direction towards your lie underneath the hopper. Place blocks on either side. Have another comparator also facing this way. Place two blocks up. Place a redstone torch here. Break out that bottom block. Have a redstone dust going into the lie here. Break the block below your red and put down a redstone torch. And now we can add some final details with the command block. Oh. Now, all you want to do is just chuck in the command from MC Head. Finally, guys, we're going to put a wooden shovel and any other block into the dropper. It's really important that you use a wooden shovel. Doesn't matter what your other block's going to be, and you're good to go. Hello, customer. Would you like to purchase a movie ticket? We're currently only showing EY gets destroyed by Ethan, EY sucks, and EY smells. Popcorn is $69. No! Is your underwear pink? No, I would never wear uh -huh, pink uh -huh, underwear. Sure, sure. Yes! Alright, okay. Let's go! It's actually purple. Bru what? <laughs> Okay, have you pooped your pants? Of course not, bro. I ain't no pant pooping, baby. <laughs> Wait, ew. I think with this thousand dollars, I'm gonna buy a private island, but I'm gonna need a way to get there across uh, all this water. Uh, yeah, I, I can, I, I swear I can explain. I didn't put this here. It was here. You just didn't see it. We all know Ethan needs help with this build, so we're gonna make a construction crew to give him a hand. We are gonna be building a moving water boat, so we're gonna just start by doing this. We've gotta put our uh, bottom of the boat in there. We're gonna use these blackstone stairs as tires, and then the blast furnace to power up our driller. Put a cut copper slab on the front here, tinted glass for the person to stand in. Very simple design for the boat. But remember, it's actually moving and you can sit in it while it moves. That is the beauty of this. Place the lever, activate that so it's going in. We're going to have a cut copper slab here on the bottom half. And you want to use this one that's like slightly weathered so it like looks like it's actually been doing some construction work. We just need to chuck down some of our observers. Little uh, sticky piston right here. And then we're going to chuck a slime block. Now we're going to come backwards, chuck our other observer right there. Break that. There we go. Like so. Chuck down some regular pistons like there, there, and there. Perfect. Chuck down our slime blocks around the three that we just did. We need a scooper as well. So we're going to add some mud brick stairs, and I think we'll have those coming backwards upside down. Put a blast furnace on the back. Tinted glass once again. Now we can start building our little dock just over here. So we want to come around like this. And now, of course, we have to unlight these. So we're going to use splash potion of water. But how are we going to get a lever there? Uh, luckily, I have a little trick up on my sleeve, guys. All you need to do, open up chat and type in slash give the A with the scoogle around the app symbol P debug underscore stick. And then we need to switch it around to that direction. Look at that! Now to add the extra detail, we want to come up here with our dark oak. You can use spruce, you can use any sort of fence, and you can do this sort of style any way you want along here. It's sort of up to you. you place this here, and then we'll place a lightning rod coming out instead of an end rod. Then put a lever here, that'll match the back. Add the lever in to connect to our lightning rod. Then grab the mangrove signs, add those to either side. Boom! The claw! The claw! Yo, you got the construction machines and they're tiny. Oh my God, they can actually fit Lil EY. Wait, what do you mean? Because you're short. Oh my, I'm not that short. 
Yar, I've come to steal your booty. Ethan, that ain't even a pirate ship. Yar, I'm a modern pirate. Ethan thinks I'm short. Fine. I'm about to make myself absolutely huge. Swole, the gym, all of that with this robot mech suit. I'm going to open up my own museum and I'm going to add EY to the exhibit because, well, he's a relic of the past. But first, let's add some actual cool stuff like a dinosaur. So those are the feet right there, guys. Then we're going up from here. I think we're going to use Posh Blackstone. Have a two hoppers going onto the inside like that above here. Make sure you're crouching while crouching. Place Posh Blackstone above each of those. We want to do this. We want to do this one here just like that. And then we want to just chuck this one. Uh, right here. There we go. We got our head. We're going to bring stairs coming all around the back here. This is going to be like the, the cockpit, I think, is the best way to describe it. And we can't forget the arms. Either side, we're going to place some blocks, grab that lightning rod action, and then for the hand, we'll have polished blackstone stairs going inwards. We're going to have to make a little bit of a barrier here that people can't just suddenly come in and touch your dinosaur. Because this thing is old as flip. And if you touch him, he will crumple like an old man. Then grab our signs here, guys. We're going to place this on either side of the feet. Signs on the front. Extra armor plating. I like it. I like it. Like We're gonna be with our little stone statue. We want to come around the front like this and then we want to build these ones back We want to come forward like this and then you just want to chuck the these down And you just want to chuck the ears like that. There we go. We got ourselves the giant head Welcome to the firelight museum here. We have the Dipolodonculus. No, I don't think that's the name And of over the here we have the more the meme face. No, I'm pretty sure that's just a statue and from Mr. Island. And over here we have well this one is an exhibit in progress uh, Which reminds me hey, why anyway, would you like be part of my museum. A relic of the past wash, bro. I have been part of your museum, bro. Please, I stole all these items. I need more money. Make people come, please. See, I told you I wasn't short, Ethan. Uh, ha! no, this feels like you're compensating. This sort of proves no, that you're I short. One awesome. sec, let me just test, awesome. uh, test how short you really are. I chuck that right, one down there. Want? What does that and, sound, uh, Ethan? Well, uh, let's see, Ethan. Ah, uh, back to normal. Nice and short, just as usual. I hate you. Well, EY doesn't want to be part of my museum, so we're just going to have to use the next best thing for this build, uh, one of his relatives. Yes, I'm, I'm talking to you. You survive another day, though, because we're going to be using another villager here. But you know what would really leave him behind in the dust? An actual Mario Kart, which we can sit in and drive. You can make this detailed as you please. The main thing is we are being using the build hacks like this one. Looks like a chain uh, coming down. Chuck that one down. Dude, I literally gave you a get out of jail free pass, and you're still hanging around. Go away! Daylight sensors here on the bottom for the wheels. We're going to place an armor stand. Make sure these are all facing inwards. That's really important to you guys. Then we're going to place a Wither Skeleton Skull facing inwards on all of these. Now, all right, let's place in pistons like that. You need to not break the redstone block. You want to break the piston underneath like that. Uh, now, what we're going to do is we need to add some railing. Um, not the prettiest, but it is necessary. You can add sort of other things to do this. And now we're going to use my patented double piston system facing downwards. You need two pistons above each grass block here. Place a redstone block here and here. Then we're going to place two more, one here and one here. And then again, you want to break the pistons first, not the redstone blocks. And then we grab ourselves an anvil. Now, what you can do is uh, grab yourself a name tag. You want to click that and you want to name dinner bone, just like that. We want to go bop and well, as you can see, he is uh, upside down. So we now have an upside down. Did he just fart? What was that? Grab your warp sign or whatever color sign matches your build. We're going to place one sign there. Place a sign on the side of that sign. Crouch again while crouching. Click a sign on the side of that sign. And then you want to place a rail above here like so. Put your minecart on there. Break that. And now you can actually sit inside your go-kart. You want to spawn your villager in there. Because of the rails, he will actually be stuck. The beauty of this build is he will sit in there and not drown. Because, well, that's not how dinner bone works. His head is still technically up there. There is no Mario Kart without the green Cooper shells. That's how you really beat the opponents, guys. So we're going to place down spruce trap doors at the bottom of two block holes. You're going to place down a bunch of armor stands like so and give all of these guys a green turtle head. Then grab your item frames and place these on the blocks with the turtle helmets and boom. Cooper shells. Oh, Jordan, my boy. It's been a rough one for you today. Uh, all Ethan, my builds are amazing. Ethan, Ethan, I don't know Ethan, how you're going to beat me. What? Ethan, what, what, the, ah, what was that? What have you done?